Overachievers, it's Rick Gray. Just wanted to talk today for a minute about increasing our activity. I was talking to a group this morning of real estate agents and we were going through what is really important in building a real estate business. Of course, we always start with mindset. I talk a lot about mindset on my videos, but specifically, what do you do in real estate? It really comes down to three areas of focus. One is lead generation right? Generating new business. One is lead converting. What is your skill level? How good are you at converting leads into clients? The third one would be price point. What's your average price? Have you ever actually specifically and purposefully increased or gone after an increased price range? That can really help your business. And the fourth one is length of sale, shortening that length of sale up, which is marketing. So lead generation, lead conversion, your price point, and how good you are at marketing. Those are the four key things I teach people to get better at. And if we can make a little bit of progress in each one of those areas, we can build a tremendous business. But just today I want to talk about activity because that came up. We were talking about increasing our activity, talking to our clients after the close, staying in touch with people, talking to our sphere of influence and adding value, and then just in general, making more connections and more engagements. If we do that, if we do just a little bit more, there's three really big benefits. Number one is we make more sales, right? We all know that. At the end of the day, sales is a numbers game. The more we talk to people, the more conversations we have that are real estate oriented, the more sales you're going to make. That's pretty simple and that's the truth. Number two is you're going to get better. You will get better at reading people. You will get better understanding what it takes to convert them from just a friend and a nice conversation into an actual client. And then number three is the most important one. You will feel better about yourself. People don't talk about that in sales enough, but in my opinion, that is the most important one by far, which is how you feel. If you feel good about yourself and you're confident and you feel powerful, you'll talk to more people. And we all know what that means. You'll get more results. You'll get more referrals. You'll get more business. You'll make more sales. You'll have more fun. And that'll continue to increase your confidence. You'll talk to even more people. So how you feel about yourself is really key and it starts with doing what you know you can do. Doing just a little bit less than your best starts the erosion. It starts the decay. A little bit less self-image. I'm not really quite doing what I know I should be doing so I feel a little bit worse about myself. That leads me to be a little bit more indecisive, a little more timid, a little more apprehensive. I talk to less people. I now get less results and it snowballs the other way. The choice is yours and it's an easy fix. It starts with tracking. How many people are you talking to now? How many conversations are you having on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis? When I was actively selling real estate, I shot for 200 a month. 200 real estate conversations, that's 50 per week. And then I tracked it. The first thing I wanna do is track. Then I know what I'm actually doing. And then once I kind of laid down a baseline, okay, Rick, I'm talking to about 10 people a week or whatever the number is. I'm talking to X amount of people per week. Now I set goals around increasing that. And then you'll start to realize those benefits. You'll make more sales, you'll get better, and you'll feel better. So start that today. Start tracking how many conversations are you having first. Then start setting goals around gradually increasing that so you feel powerful and confident. It's not your words that close people. It's your energy and your confidence.